So welcome. Today I'm going to be discussing some some stuff that I've discovered with the new snapshots. Uh, with 1.14, we can copy any data from any entity and put it onto any other entity except for the player, of course. And with that, you can do quite a bit. I've found a way to store entities in strings uh, and items. There are, of course, other applications to this, but I'll be showcasing one that I've come up with today. This one is rather unpractical and is more just a demonstration of the extent of things you can do with this and not so much the most practical application. You can store almost as many entities as you want. There is the limit of the, the item size, like the item size limit, but otherwise you can store as much information you want on a singular item. So what this does is we have Ned here. He's been a good mount but he's a pain in the ass to like actually get home or whatever. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and take him with us. So here we have Ned in an ender pearl. Now, let's go ahead and just drop Ned down. And there he is. There's Ned. He's an exact duplicate of the entity. I do not copy, or I do not just teleport the entity into spawn chunks and store him. I actually physically copy everything about him as an entity. So uh, to demonstrate that, I'm going to go ahead and kill Ned because he's a traitorous bastard. And we're going to come over here to Wilbur, this wolf. Now, I'm going to do quite a bit of proof here, and I'm also going to discuss one of the major issues with this system. It is, I believe, a bug, and not something innately wrong with what I've done. Uh, and I'll, I'll show that here in a second, but I'm going to go ahead and we're going to clone Wilbur, and I'm going to prove that I do not actually copy entities, as I am the only entity in the world. And what we're going to do is we are going to drop Wilbur back down. Now, Wilbur is an exact duplicate. He will follow us, follow our commands, sit, and stay for us. He is, in every respect, the same exact entity copied into this Ender Pearl and placed back into the world. Now there is one major issue with this design. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clone this stack and I'm going to go into survival. Now here is where the first issue arises. Let's go ahead and just grab Wilbur again here uh, just to show that it's pretty much always going to be a unique item. So what, end up, what ends up happening is whenever you use an ender pearl now this is the one you just seen me do, so I'll use this as a demonstration. When you use an Ender Pearl, and is the last Ender Pearl in your in, in that slot, the count value for it will go as zero, null, uh, nullifying the item tag in the Ender Pearl. So watch what happens. It is just a normal Ender Pearl. But if I take this stack here, of this Pearl here that also doesn't work and I use it instead, Wilbur responds. I believe this is a glitch because that item data tag for the Ender Pearl is supposed to be, or supposed to be there to store custom ID values for the display data, custom display data. Um, and if it's doing that, one Ender Pearl could never display the proper display data. And this applies to also enchanted bottles snowballs, and pretty much any other item that uses it. I attempted to use potions, but potions do not have tags that I can store stuff in. At least I actually haven't fully tried potions. Uh, I might. But for now, this is just addressing the issues with this system. Uh, but overall, it does allow you to copy any information from any entity and then use it later. Uh, once you have the item. You can of course store this in blocks as well. You don't have to use just entities and you can store information from blocks into entities. You can really do just about anything you can think of. I doubt I will ever be able to use the full scope of this feature. But uh, that, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.